and we are playing Tour de France 2018 today. We are doing a quick uh, stage. Um, this is only 66 kilometers, but it's got three mountains on it, so it's a fun stage because we're going up and downhill the entire time. Uh, pretty cool views as well. This was an awesome stage in real life. Nairo Quintana ended up winning it in real life. We are going to play as Mikel Landa, uh, Quintana's teammate. Um, but we're going to kind of go out on our own. We'll make sure that Quintana has some help before we, you know, take off or anything like that. But So here we go. Hello and welcome to all. With a start at the foot of the climb towards Peragut, no one can afford a stutter when the others put their foot down. The slightest weakness could prove fatal. And the I'm not like in my starting position. Way off in without any let up. I want to get up because I need to counter anybody's attack. Okay, they left me opening. So, this is like a racing game as far as the driving the goes. Don't scare him. Uh, He's what's up, Allegiance? To escape. The start is given um, and the tone is immediately set. A 15 kilometer so now these guys are going to try to break away, um, but we're, reach what we're going to do is we're not going to join them. The we're just going to keep the pushing the, the peloton. Moment, any breakaway has drawn a blank. See that the breakaway is actually getting too big anyway, so not really worried about them. They're gonna they're gonna wipe themselves out. Our goal is to just push this peloton a bit because um, we want to get the sprinters and the the flat guys and all that. We want them out of the race early. This nobody left on a breakaway. See, they tried to break off. We caught them. Acceleration at the head of the peloton. See, that group of six could pull away, but we're already dropped three people uh, from our group. And that's what we want to do. You're just going to get... The more we push this hill, or this mountain, the more that they're going to uh, fall off the back. And the less people... It doesn't people, seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced. See there, we just dropped a group of 29 off the back. Or they're about to be. They're like at the tail end of that group. But if we can lose a group of 29, that's 29 people that can't get us uh, later on. So since this is only a 66 kilometer race, you don't really have to uh, conserve your energy. If this was a 120, 150 and we're going up three mountains, then yeah. But in this case, we can go at a fairly decent pace. And again, I'm not worried about attackers and breakaways in this. Uh, they're going to push themselves too much. And then they'll end up falling back to us. They might beat us on this first mountain. The time gap between the peloton and the escapees is stationary. But this peloton, which starts with 188, is already down to 136, so there's eight in front of us, so that means there's already 30 plus that are out, or that have fallen behind. And notice that group of six that, uh, that pulled away from me just now, one of them's already fallen back to me. I think the only guy who's really got a thing is this two-ant guy who has pulled out to a 52-second lead over me. But again, I'm not worried 
about this first mountain. We can wipe ourselves down. Because we're going to hit that downhill afterwards, we can wipe ourselves out. See, I'm going to get a little bit of a assistance being right behind this guy for a bit. I'm going to get around him probably in this next turn. Yes. I played this as a practice uh, not too long, oh, probably two days ago, and ended up pulling out the win. Um, just beating my teammate Nairo Quintana who won this in real life uh, by less than two seconds so it was a good victory the first rider to the top will score 10 more points towards All right, the so now we're at the standings. five kilometer point my uh, a teammate is beginning to lose touch all right so we're we dropped our sprinter. We knew that was going to happen. Um, we're five kilometers from the top of this first mountain, and then we hit the downhill. On the downhill, you don't need any uh, energy at all, because you just basically be coasting down. Uh, but as you see the red car up ahead, that's the lead car, so... Uh, this is everybody who was in front of us, who ran away from us. Even the guy who was 56 seconds ahead at one point, uh, we've now caught them. And the Peloton is only 86 people now, so th this is playing into our hands. There's plenty of damage at the back of the Peloton. Alright, so we've taken the lead again. Behind. This guy in second place must be... Oh, it's Kreisinger. Yeah. He, he's a, he'd usually be the guy leading the pack uh, in real life. Uh, kind of pacing everybody. Uh, but he's enjoying the fact that I'm doing the workload today. You know, is it, uh, one of the board games that I like uh, says, you know, Tour de France is like this, the race where you're trying to be second place because 99% of the race you want to be in second. You just want to take the lead at the end. And, uh, but in this case, with my strategy only on this stage is get ahead of everybody and pull the field. On a normal mountain stage, I wouldn't suggest doing this at all. Alright, we get this little downhill here. So I'm going to aerodynamic for one second. And then back up. And we're going to kind of go full, try to get the mountain points if we can. We're getting close to wiping di out our energy, our current energy. We still have a bunch in the tank for if, like, when we go downhill, we'll gain it all back. And we will win this stage and only have 23 in the peloton. Reduce speed a bit, otherwise you'll hit the wall. So that is exactly what we wanted to do. We broke the peloton up until... Now some will gain. Uh, some will come back to us on the... The ride down the mountain. So we don't have to lead during the uh, the descent. We can even hook on to a rider. It is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. Yeah, like this group looks like they're waiting for a leader to go, and that's the only thing about that is, is they're gonna bring back some of the back end. So it's like I, I want to hang back, but I also want to be able to 
get it. I wanted to keep this group at 20 something. That's the problem when, like, as that guy just said, um, when you have a big breakaway, it's the question is who's going to lead. Nobody wants to be that leader. A little wide. It's okay. You must constantly try to shelter from the I got a teammate right so here, so I'm going to kind of stay with him. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. I can tell you in the last one I did of this, we did not have 29. We had when going down 60 hill, or 70. So we broke the peloton pretty good. All right, we're coming up on the sprint stage. You're coming up to the intermediate sprint. Keep your eyes open. I don't know if we we I don't think anybody's going to go for it just because most of the sprinters are not in the uh He's the best sprinter in the group. Take his wheel if you want to score some points. Yeah, we have Valverde who's our own teammate uh who could go for it. So we're playing this because Tour de France 2019 is coming to PlayStation and Xbox in just three weeks. So we'll be getting into it. We'll be doing a full rundown of the Tour de France 2019 uh, course and a couple of other courses along the way. Oop, Navarro looks like he's taking off to get that green jersey points. Uh, he can have it. I think that's dumb with the giant mountain right in front of him but he can do that guys don't forget to protect our leader communication is important that's why we have team com all right let's just making sure yes Nairo Quintana's being uh Nairo Quintana's almost at full strength he's actually better than I am right now um and he's got Amador uh covering him so that's all that that's all we're really worried about. Because if it's not going to be me winning, we want Nairo to win it. So that guy's going to... Navarro's going to take the, the sprint points. I'll actually get second, even though I wasn't making any attempt. So now we're back up. There's 31 of us at the moment going up this hill. Now again, same situation. I want to get us up the hill because there's other groups it's that are now going to try to catch us. And it's like, no, no, we don't want you. We want to keep it as the 32 of us. <laughs> They fell back for a reason. We want to keep them back there. Whether on mountain stages or on hills, he's to be taken seriously as he climbs well. I'm intrigued by this uh, Navarro break. By himself, he's going for it. Now, in real life, that actually did happen, but it was Nairo Quintana who did it. I think he's going to fade, but he is pulling away. Although I'm not pushing it as far as I can just yet. This isn't a, actually I could I probably could. This isn't a really long mountain. It's got a real steep incline, but the first six riders at the top will pocket the points. Yeah, we're only five kilometers away, and I and I have a eight six four two and one point to be gained. I'm gonna use my feed now. and then go. He's about four tenths of a kilometer ahead. He's just off, he's just on my screen. But actually he's starting to, he's starting to fade. Although we're also going full speed. Uh -oh. The good thing is we're gaining on him, but that second pack of 42 riders is not gaining on us. 
So we're putting about a minute 40 on that that group because I'm pulling this up. Okay, here he is. We got Navarro. We could actually push past him and maybe drop him too. Because he's not going to have a lot of energy left. There we go. That was a really wide turn though. So we're starting to actually drop some of the guys from our group because of this aggressive move. Tony Galapen's fallen back. That's a good move for us. Galapen on AG2R. If you've been on my stream before, uh, we played an entire Tour de France as Tony Galapen. We dropped Navarro. He, you know, that's what he gets for uh, trying to run away from us. Now, I'm going to probably slow up a little bit. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. Keep an eye on him. He's the best climber in the breakaway. Well, that's all right. I want Nairo here. Oh, a monitor fell back, though. That was our guy who was helping him. Let's see if I can switch. Okay, Solar's going to Solar's gonna help him now. And we always have Valverde who can help him. So. I think that's what they're doing. Amadorus was the one with him. Here's Solar, who's right behind me. Uh, and that must mean Nairo's right behind him. Yep. Nairo's off on the right side. Alright, here's the top of the mountain, so. We'll go, probably get that win. Actually, we could get top two, because Solar's right behind me. All right, so we take this hill. You were oh, first over the top of the climb. Aru That's got good. second. Our guy got third and fifth, so we went one, three, five in that one. Kruziger fell. I remember he was second place to me earlier. So there's only 21 of us. Now Kruziger very likely could get back in when we go to the apex of the, or, I mean not the apex, the, uh, the foot of the next hill. we all sort of bunch back up right at the foot of the hill but if you have to be pretty close see they're pushing I'm not I'm I am not the hit end of the stage is not far off the, ga the gas button, uh, the, the R2 the at all on this downhill, so I'm just conserving energy. Because again, the plan is pretty much, just like in that one, is to push as soon as we get onto the hill. Wipe this lat, because everybody's got to be hurting at this point. Alright. 20 to go. Already there are only 20 kilometers left, but it won't be a piece of cake since the 16 kilometer Col du Porte climb has to be tackled. See, I'm full strength again, or as full strength as you can be. Alright, 16 kilometers. This is where the hill starts. So we got 21 of us left. Kruziger might catch us, even for Molo. Here we go. The head of the race 
race is now on to the final climb. The Col de Porte. We can't go first full on route to the Tour de France. at the beginning. They might pull away from me at first. But with 16 kilometers, we can we have to conserve a little bit. The riders will come up against some steep slopes right at the foot of the climb, but also in the last kilometer. This is a horrendous climb. The Bernal from Team Sky is is sitting up in his bike. He's trying. Uh, Rue is trying. I'm not sure. I don't think that's still Solar. Hope Heat and remember, Solar is is the man who's got Nairo on his wheel. So at some point, I'm gonna send Nairo. It's not gonna be within the. It's gonna be somewhere within the last five that I'm gonna send Nairo on his own. We got two minutes on that, on that group. Although they are catching, so we will have to push at some point. Because that group of 33 is trying to get back to us. Thing is, I think when you're trying that hard on a hill, you're going to wipe yourself out. Especially at a hill this long. going to use that last a bit of uh, uh, feed that I had. So we're a quarter of the way through this mountain. That group of 33 has gotten within two minutes of us, but... to see Burnell and uh, Atlanta toe to toe. I, I know they got into a into an accident at a non-Tour de France race uh, that took them out of it. Might have even been the or no, it was right before the Volta de, de España. But the 10 kilometer banner is coming up. All right, that group split. That group of 16 split and they're falling back. And I'm not even pushing overly hard at the moment because we're on a, a pretty steep incline right now at the summit there will be double points for the mountains classification there will be 50 points for the stage winner but yeah that group of 30 broke up into uh, a bunch of groups now and the closest is 215 away so we got this And I say we, but it's actually, you know, one of the 21 of us. Now we have four of our guys are still in this pack of 24. Because it's basically been me. There's an attack. Stay alert. It's been me. Uh, uh oh, it's the, the attack came from the group behind us. So he's trying to attack up to us. But I've been push, 
Solar's been on my back wheel, and then Katana's on his back wheel, and Valverde's pretty much on his back wheel. That was a weird hairpin. Yeah, the guy who attacked there was two minutes and something behind the and now all he is is he's by himself in the what would be the second group but it's just him uh, he's he just set himself into 22nd place that was basically the attack so we are now seven kilometers away uh, still gotta still gotta be a little patient oh oh a couple guys are gonna take off they saw that I was uh, trying to be patient Honestly, think that we're there's Malama, there's Woods. I think yeah. See, they took off, but now they're going to be slowing down again. So that's Alejandro Valverde. No falling asleep. Yeah, even the guys who just broke and away are already on. falling. I just think that was kind of a dumb move. But... Oh, we got Louis Menkes right in front of us. Alejandro Valverde is in front of us. He's our teammate. Oops, Solar's falling off. So one of our teammates is about to fall off the pack. Oh, there's nothing we can do for him at this point. My teammate has just been dropped. Yeah. You can't count on him any longer. Only five kilometers left for the race leaders. So we're at the five banner. I have used a lot of energy though. But Louis Menkes have fallen, and I'm actually technically falling out. get a little help by cutting corners here. Warren Bargill moved up to second. He's a good threat. It's basically time to send Nairo on his own with Valverde's wiping out and so we're gonna send Nairo he's got the most out of all three of us Nairo has the most strength left so we're gonna send him to attack okay I'll put in a big acceleration So I'm pulling a, a little, oh, but Warren Bargill actually just fell back. So did Fabian Aru. Uh, I'm not even going full full uh, or normal at the moment. I'm holding off a little bit, trying to get enough to get the last two kilometers. But Nairo is the leader. Simon Yates is second. Valverde's in the next group. Uh, of six. We're sitting at 10th right now. You can see the the one kilometer uh, banner up ahead. Two kilometers left. Riders will have to keep something in reserve for the last kilometer because with an average oh. slope of over 10%, a blow up could be costly. Yeah, Banner's a lot further away than I thought it was. But it look, looked a lot closer. It 
faster. We're catching them, but will we catch them in time? I can't really push it. The breakaway is one kilometer from the finishing line. All right, Naira's leading by 56 seconds. It looks like our team will get that win. Uh, it won't be me this time, though. He beat I beat him the last time, but he's gonna. He's going to take the win this time. Reduce speed a bit, otherwise you'll hit the wall. The question is, can we get up to this group of six and possibly steal another position? We're in ninth. Valverde's in this group, so yeah, he's right here in the back. Um, blocked. We got past him. Can we take third? Because Yates will beat me. There we go. We got third. And it looks like my teammate Valverde fell in behind me. So we will see where we finished out. Good race. Nairo Quintana, our teammate, wins. We took third, so we'll be on that podium. Got to wait for our uh, our sprinter. Took a long time. And Cyberg from Lotto is still five kilometers away. So even at hyper speed, it's going to take a minute. I think if we were running a real tour, uh, Cyberg would have been eliminated. So... A few minutes ago, he was the first across the finishing line. There we go, line. Nairo Quintana getting the, Here the win. Here is the winner of the Bannière de Luchon, Col du Porte stage, Nairo Quintana. We can say that everything is going well for him at the moment. So he'll get the Here's yellow the jersey because we're only doing one stage. Nairo. We can say that everything is going well for him at the moment. He'll get the Here's green jersey. The green jersey of this Tour de France. Oh no, it's me! Because of my second place finish in the... Let's hope for his sake that things go as well in the future, in the but intermediate stage. can relish the moment. And my third place in the overall. We can say that and here's my polka... Well this should be my polka dot jersey. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. No, it's Nairo. Nairo he gets it. Quintana. But... We took all. We took it all on this one. Let's hope for his sake. Well done, lads! Congratulations to you. We were the pre-race favourites, and you lived up to the role with brio. Well done for this win. Oh, we were tied in the. Uh, we were tied for the uh, polka dot jersey, so they gave it to him because he beat me in the overall. Although technically, if we were doing it, uh, Adam Yates would uh, wear, if we were doing another stage, Adam Yates would wear the jersey. Uh, Philippe Latour getting the young rider. And we won as a team. All right, it's to to get the uh, combativity because we really didn't have a breakaway because I wasn't going to let it happen. So, all right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we'll do a couple more of these soon. And like I said, Tour de France 2019 coming out in three weeks. So we will be definitely playing that a lot. So I'll see you next time. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.